Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. This week's online session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. Armen Sarkisyan. Armenia's relation with some third country are serial. It's an axiom with the Russia. The European Union called for the return of the captives of 44J war and struck the captive ceasefire. The Artsakh village of Kalatak is flourishing every day. In Syria, three civilians were killed in a Turkish UAV strike. The Armenian Dersim platform is aimed at a preserving the Armenian culture in the Dersim of Western Armenia. The monument of Zakhar's fortress of the pagan period will be restored in Aragatotan region. On November 10, this week's online session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held, which is attended by the deputies from different countries. The main issue of the agenda of the meeting is about the procedure for considering the proposals of the government and parliament, a law draft that has been put to reading. Deputies were given a week to familiarize themselves with the draft law and submit written proposal for discussion at the next meeting and submission to the government. The meeting was chaired by NAY speaker Nelly Harutunyan. The meeting was attended by President of Western Armenia Armenak Abramian, Prime Minister Seda Melikan, and Foreign Minister Lydia Markosyan. Armenia's relation with some third country are a theorem. It's an axiom with Russia. Armenian President Armen Sarkisyan stated this in an interview with Arguments and Facts newspaper. Answering the question about relation with other countries and Russia, the Armenian president said, however, among all countries, there is more with which it is pointless to discuss relation. This is Russia, because it is pointless to discuss what has previously agreed. We lived in the Ottoman Empire for several hundred years and then in a Russian Empire. As a result, the Armenian Republic, which was in the Russian Empire, is now an independent Armenian. And where is Western Armenia, which was in the Ottoman Empire? Where are the Armenians who lived there? There are as many Armenians in Russia today as they are in Armenia, and in Turkey there were more of them. You ask if the current changes could affect relations with Russia. The important thing is that I don't even want to discuss the strengths of our country's friendship. For me, this is an axiom. European Union spokesman for foreign affairs and security policy Peter Stano made a statement on occasion on the first anniversary of the trilateral agreement between Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia on the ending of the 44-day war in Artsakh. As it transmits Armen Press, the statement notes that the EU regrets the human losses during the hostilities and expressed condolence to the families of all dead and wounded. Despite the fact that hostilities have been stopped, nevertheless there are still many urgent issues that need to be resolved so that we can move towards a negotiated and stable settlement. In particular, we call for strict observance of the ceasefire, the immediate release of the captives, full cooperation in the issue of mine tolerance and in the east tensions of the border. The European Union continues to remain committed to promoting peace and prosperity in the South Caucasia, the spokesman said in a statement. In the village of Kolatak Martagert, after the war, the number of people increased, not decreased. Residents deprived of their homes as well as the military arms moved here. After the war, as a result of the trilateral agreement, the Agdam passed to Azerbaijan. Seven villages of the Martagert region were included in it. These villages were expelled from Armenia in just one day. But the Shot and Bayraktas did not reach the village Kolatak. During the 44-day war, Kolatak became a shelter in the village after the war. The number of people did not decrease but increased. Before the war, 258 people lived in the village, now 327. After the war, the village lives a quiet life. The only school in the village has three teachers, 50 students and 26 children from the neighboring village of Tabaklu attend here. Residents are engaged in agriculture and cattle breeding. A wall glamping ecotourist for tourists is being built in the lower part of the village. Besides, a new factory will be opened soon. Kolatak residents also have a great hopes on the restoration of the Hakopavang, which was built in the 7th century and not functioning after the 19th century. At least three civilians were killed in a Turkish drone strike in the town of Kemishli in northern Syria. This is reported by Al Hadas TV channel with a conference to Turkish sources. In particular, a Turkish drone shot down a car in one of the residential areas of the city, resulting in the death of three people who are members of the same family. It is noted that the target of the strike was one of the representatives of the Kurdish Democratic Forces of Syria, who, however, was not in the car at the time of the strike. A number of the eastern and northeastern regions of Syria are currently controlled by Kurdish forces. Turkey has conducted three military operations in this area since 2017. 
The purpose of the platform is both social and cultural. Armenian Dersim is a direct contact with Armenian families living in Western Armenia in Dersim. Currently, 20 Armenian families support the initiative by buying the products they grow and produce. The Armenian residents of the Dersim Pertek region were given the opportunity to produce nuts and rain pines with 100 neutral flavors. Thanks to the support, the Armenian families of Dersim are even more mobilized to preserve their culture and live freely with Armenian tradition. In three months, the magazine Armenian Dersim will be published. Armenian Dersim also financial and socially assists young Armenian students living in Dersim in making documentaries about the ongoing genocides around the world with the policy of assimilation that we live in. For support and any note, you can contact us dersimhi at gmail.com address. It is planned to restore the monument Zakhar's fortress of the pagan period of the Gatnachbir community of Aragatsotan region, which is one of the most prototypical historical monuments and was built from 1st BC to 1st AD centuries. As it transmits our members in the GNO Service for the Protection of the Historical and Cultural Museum Reserves, report that the fortress had a large number of marsh burns, stone mangers, long stone stairs, thick walls. The most significant excavation on the territory of the fortress were carried out in the early 1990s by a group of famous archaeologists, Yesai Asatrian. At this time, objects of great importance were found from the territory of the fortress. Recently, a memorandum was signed at a school of Nerkin Basma Bert village of Aragatotan region named after Yesai Asatrian, according to which work on cleaning and landscaping of the archaeology archaeological monument Zakhar Fortress, as well as further scientific research, will begin in 2022. The memorandum was signed between the family of Yesai Asatrian, the Service of the Protection of the Historical Environment and Historical and Cultural Museum Reserves, the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography of National Academy of Sciences. Now the musical part, Armenian folk music, Gagu Gagu. The full version of this video is available on our official website on YouTube. This was all for today. Goodbye.